Hi, it's Player Ban. Hi everyone, welcome back to Meg's Monster. Alright, so last episode here, War was about to shoot himself up in that rocket, but good thing Golden's trying to stop him, and I think little Meg here is gonna do the same. <laughs> Golden's just dead. Really? Oh, uh, dang it, now you're here too? Meg, you you gotta stop him. He's trying to sacrifice himself. Yeah, because it's the only way. Otherwise, everyone else is gonna die. Better me than the whole dang world. No, you can't. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Roy appeared. <laughs> oh, okay, so she she can't attack, but at least she can talk. Meg tries reasoning with Roy. Please, Roy. I don't want you to leave. Oh my gosh, his little heart. Sorry, kid. Uh, my mind's made up. Roy looks forlorn. My soccer ball. Roy always kicks this one too hard. My crayons. I want to make Roy draw something for me one day. My playing cards. I still don't get how to play that game Roy made up. My storybooks, including my very favorite one. Okay, well, yeah, why don't we just play this? Meg tried reasoning with Roy. I know, Roy. Come on, Roy, let's play pass again, okay? Meg kicked the soccer ball over to Roy. The ball rolled to a stop at his feet. Ugh, knock it off! But Roy punted the ball far off into the distance. You guys just don't get it. I need to go. I literally have to die. Roy is getting angry. Should I, should I just talk like normal? Meg try reasoning with Roy. Please, Roy. But Roy didn't respond. Oh, I guess we just gotta go through all the toys now. <gasps> the rocket ship's gonna be the last one. Meg pulled out her crayons. Uh, what, what if I draw you again, Roy? Yeah, why don't we draw something together? Oh, jeez, my heart. <laughs> Roy's heart. But Roy wouldn't even look at her. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. I'll just have to spill it out for you. Roy is trying to get his words out, or is struggling to get his words out. Hey, uh, wanna play cards? May pulled out a deck of cards. Uh, I could teach you how to play concentration. Th that doesn't even sound fun, it sounds lame. Roy slapped the cards out of Meg's hands. You, you want to know how I really feel? Taking care of you has been the most uh, annoying thing I've ever had to do. What? Roy turned his eyes away from Meg. Jeez, Roy, you're spitting out some, some hate. Meg pulled out her storybooks. I, I sure would love for you to read to me again. You, you know I can't read, dang it! Th that's okay, I, I can teach you how. Just have Golan read to you or something. Roy snatched away the books and threw them over at Golan. Oh my eye. Ever since we first met and you started getting all attached to me and whatnot, I hated every minute of it, you hear me? Roy's clenching his fist. Shut up! I don't ever want to hear you say my name again! Oh my gosh! Remember? Eh. Hey Roy? Can we play again tomorrow? Uh, I don't know, kiddo. We might be pretty busy tomorrow. Besides, we gotta get you home to your mom, remember? We can still play after that, can't we? 
Okay, okay, but only if you be a good girl and promise not to cry until then. Deal. Meg remembered their promise. Uh, I'm not gonna cry. Not until you play with me again, Roy. I promised you I won it. M Meg. Roy is hesitating. <laughs> Don't cry. Meg held back her tears. No, stop trying to be my friend. You and Golan both. Uh, but... Roy seems to be in distress. Here it is. My toy rocket ship. Me and Roy play with this one a lot. Alright, we're playing out the trump card. Meg held back her tears. No, stop trying to be my friend. I never cared about you, not one bit. But, 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 Roy. Y you remember this one, right? We play with it so much. Meg pulled out her toy rocket ship. Uh, oh my gosh, look at his little tears. Uh, dang it. G get that thing out of my face. <gasps> Roy snatched the toy rocket ship and threw it down at the ground. The toy rocket ship burst into pieces. Roy, why would you do that? How could you be so mean? But, uh... We gotta remember, Meg, don't cry! And one more thing. This is the most important part, okay? I want you to know that Roy cares about you very much. Well, yeah, I already know that. Duh. <laughs> well, okay then. As long as you remember that, I'm sure things will turn out alright. Meg remembered her strange encounter with the strange lady. And then, she remembered everything she and Roy had been through together. You're, you're lying, Roy. No, I'm not. I, I don't want to ever see your face again. No, you're lying. I, I can tell. And, and not just to me. You're, you're lying to yourself, too. What? Roy is hesitating. First woke up down there. I, I was so scared and confused and lonely. But then I found you and you tried to cheer me up. You play with me all the time. Sure, you, you grumbled and complained about it, but you were always there for me. I uh So so this time if you're feeling scared and lonely and confused, then it's my turn to be there for you. So, if you really can't stay here... Oh my gosh. Meg is like the wisest five-year-old kid I've ever seen. Then I I'm coming with you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is so sad and cute. <laughs> I don't wanna go. I'm afraid to die. I don't wanna be alone. <laughs> Dang, bro. I never seen you cry before. But, you're not alone there. Uh, nobody wants to die, man. Uh, there's gotta be a way to save you. Don't give up hope just yet, my friend. Dang. That was... That was an intense scene right there. Uh, looks like he uh, finally cried himself to sleep. Can't blame him for being spent after all that fighting. Um, hello? Uh, is anyone there? I I'm fairly sure this is the right frequency. Uh, the heck? 
<laughs> Wait, is this is this Joey or or not Joey? Uh, Paul or is this uh, Meg's mom? Uh, can, can you hear me, Roy? <laughs> oh no, this is Bastion. Sorry. Oh right, that's his uh the sound his little like font thing makes. Oh, this is Sebastian speaking. Ah, Sebastian. Oh right, uh, that old geezer. Uh, sorry, uh, Roy just got done crying himself to sleep. Uh, crying? Roy? I'm not sure how that happened, but I suppose they do say even devils may cry from time to time. Well, in any case, I've got something important to tell him. Ah, uh, you do? Indeed. There are no humans there at the moment, correct? I'm going to head up there. With any luck, I may be just able to neutralize the destructive energy building inside of Roy. What? Uh, but how? Isn't that... Dang, he hung up. <laughs> now then, as I told your friend over the radio, I may know a way to eradicate the destructive energy inside of you. Uh, uh, hold on, Grandpa. Oh, why do you know? I'm the Harpinger of Ruin. Now, I know I told you about Meg being the Harpinger of Ruin, but I only learned it it was me and not her after that. So, how could you know that? <laughs> well, it's a long story and I rather a convoluted one. <laughs> oh, but for the sake of simplicity, let's just say I've known of you since the day you were born. Although that day is but a faded far off of memory for me now. Uh, why do you know how to fix me? I suppose the answer to that question would be about the same as the previous one. It is because I knew the circumstances under which you were born. Although, it wasn't until you told me about what happened when you first met Meg that I finally connected all of the dots. After all, it was I who created you. Huh? W what are you talking about? But I thought it was that Victor guy who created me. Well, yes, in one sense, but in another, no. Man, could you stop talking to riddles already? <laughs> I did warn you this was going to get convoluted. I would be happy to explain it all from the beginning later, but we're short on time at the moment. And even if I were to tell you right now, I don't expect you'd believe it all at first. In any event, the method I have in mind is just a scant possibility. I'd need to take a look at you first to know whether it work or not. Ugh, fine. Uh, not like we've got any other options right now. Uh, do your worst, old man. Ah, uh, here's hoping. Hmm, <laughs> ah, oh, yes, indeed. Well, uh, how's it look? I think you can stop the, uh, criticality or whatever. <laughs> oh, why, uh, yes, I believe so. Uh, f for real? <laughs> oh, but, well, um, how would you put this? Uh, just give it to me straight, old man. <laughs> uh, you were originally created as a microbe and meant to decompose harmful matter. <laughs> More specifically, for the purpose of safely disposing of magic tar, the waste as it's called up above. But none of us ever expected you to grow and evolve into the powerful, complex organism you are today. Which may be part of the reason your insides developed in such a bizarrely distorted manner. Uh, I don't know what that means, but uh, I feel insulted. <laughs> anyway, my point is, the organ into which all that magic tar has been accumulating is the very same organ that serves one of your functions of what we call the hippocampus in human biology. Oh no, 
They have to erase Roy's memories? <laughs> Essentially, it's the part of the limbic system responsible for converting sensory data from short-term into long-term memory, which then gets sent to the cerebral cortex where... Hey, 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 slow down. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> oh, right, my apologies. To put it in layman's terms, I believe I can remove the part of you that's a ticking time bomb, as it were. But it will probably mean losing a portion of your memories as well. Particularly the most recent ones. You may very well lose all of them. Uh, how far back are we talking? <laughs> to put it bluntly, you could lose several weeks or more. So, all my memories of Meg? <laughs> it's still ultimately your decision. Or rather, it was rather it would be under normal circumstances. But I'm sure you recognize that this issue poses an imminent threat to us all. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, I guess I was ready to die already, so that's no biggie. But I need you to give me just a little bit of time first. Oh? I've got one last prom promise I need to make good on. I see, well, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, right, and, uh... You know what a birthday is, Gramps? Hmm? Why, well, yes, I do. Uh, what of it? Okay, cool. Uh, see you in a while, then. <laughs> what on earth was that about? Hey, Meg, uh, come on, it's time to play. Jeez, Roy. You scared the heck out of me. Uh, what's the matter, Roy? Well, I promised I'd play with you if you were a good girl and didn't cry, didn't I? Or do you not feel like playing anymore? Uh, no, no I do. But I gotta tell you, Meg, this might be the last time we get to play together. Huh? Uh, but why? Come tomorrow, I might not even remember who you are. Uh, but why though? Here it comes! That's a nice kick! A nice one! Okay, my turn now. Aw, Roy knows how to control his power! Wow, Roy! That was perfect! You're getting so good at controlling the ball! You think so? I guess I finally cracked the code. Alright, kick it back here! Okay! Man, this is uh, pretty fun once you get the hang of it. But it, it's not fair, I know, but it's the only way for everyone else to survive. Look, I'm not good at explaining this stuff, but I think it's probably for the best. You're gonna go live with your mom again, and I'm gonna go back to my place, just like, like how things were, uh, were before we met. Everything is gonna go back to normal. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> They're just drawing on the screen. There, all done. What do you think? Wow, a rocket ship! Cool! I know, pretty sweet, right? I may have a little bit of artistic talent after all. Well, well, not too shabby, Roy. Why don't you draw something, Golan? Nah, nah, man, I'm good. Come on, don't be shy, we all suck at first. Hey Meg, uh, what's that you drew there? It's the moon! Oh yeah? So, uh, that's what it looks like up close, huh? Got an awfully weird shape to it, that's for sure. Yup, but sometimes it can be a perfect circle too. Wait, you mean it actually changes shape? That's nuts. Ah, uh, come on, kiddo. Cheer up. I know, I know. You're gonna miss me, right? Not gonna lie, I'll be pretty lonely without you two. Which is kind of a surprising thing to admit. 
I was never a sappy guy before I met you, Meg. You weren't? Nope. Before I met you, I never ever got lonely. Like, like, you changed who I am on the inside. Uh, makes sense? Okay, uh, for my next pick, I'll take this one, and this one. Yes, it's a match! Wow, Roy, you're great at this! <laughs> I know. I totally see the fun and concentration now. It's one of those games where you just gotta follow your gut. And I've always had real good intuition. Like, if I'm craving some magic tar, always find it in the first place I look. Uh, that's because it's literally everywhere down there, bro. Okay, um, for my next pick... I'll take this one... And this one. Aha, another match! Hmm, though I gotta admit, you're pretty good at this. You're gonna finish the whole dang game before Meg even gets her first turn at this rate. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say here is... Dang it, I'm gonna start crying again. Me too. Wait, 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 don't cry yet. You've gotta wait until they fix me. All I'm trying to say is, you changed who I am as a person, Meg. So even if I get who you are, you still had a huge impact on my life, okay? Okay. Uh, you know, my mommy always used to read this book to me. It's such a good story. I love it so much. No, really? Uh, so you already know how it goes then. Guess that means you knew I was just faking it last time around. Great, now I'm really embarrassed. You know, the monster on this page looks a lot like you, Roy. Man, the old geezer said the exact same thing. Apparently he's supposed to be a friendly monster who helps the little girl. Ah, now I get it. Uh, get what? I was wondering why Meg latched onto you so quickly. When we first ran into her, I mean. I mean, you're basically like a walking, talking death machine. Aw, oh, save it, man. From a human's perspective, you ain't any better. But see, I bet Meg saw you and was like, Hey, he looks just like the hero from my storybook. Uh, I look like a hero? Yeah. You're my hero, Roy. Uh, I am? You gotta be my hero too, Roy. Uh, no, absolutely not. But... Even if you forget me, I'll never forget you, Roy. Thanks, kid. Th that means a lot. Oh, sit. Yeah, uh, one sec. Just gotta put that like this and, uh, okay, cool. I think that'll do it. Here you go, old man. Uh, don't lose that now. <laughs> oh, I won't. Don't worry. Uh, cool. Then I think I'm ready. Uh, just make it quick, will ya? <laughs> My, don't say it like that! It's not going to kill you or anything. Nah, just do it already. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, here we go. Whoa, man. Getting, getting kind of sleepy. I guess this must be the anesthetic thing he was talking about. Feels kind of nice, actually. Isn't there a weekend? Huh? Isn't there anything we could do? There's gotta be some way to preserve his memories, right? Oh, I thought you were supposed to be smart, you old Giza. What? I is that you, Golan? Man, pipe down, will ya? 
Well, can a guy get some sleep around here? <laughs> Look, I understand your frustration, but you should be thankful that his life can even be saved. You are very lucky to have someone like me who knows what it's like to live in a monster's body. And who also has access to all of the data from the experiments that originally created Roy. Look, I'll admit, I don't get all this icy stuff, but I can't have Roy losing his memories. Relax, man. It's not like I'm going to forget about you or anything. The most likely it will only be his most recent memories that disappear. You've known him long enough that it shouldn't matter, I don't think. Yeah, you tell him, Gramps. And no, Timer, you don't get it. He and I had a major heart-to-heart -heart just recently. And it's only in the wake of that that I feel like we've finally become bros in the true sense of the word. What is that all? Don't worry about that, man. I mean, you've always been a bro to me. Never been a time I didn't think of you as such, I don't think. So when you opened up to me the other day, about all your guilt and feelings and whatnot, that didn't change nothing, not for me at least. You're the one who's grown, man. And you're not gonna lose that growth just from me losing my memories. We'll still be bros, ain't nothing changing that. Aw, oh, dang. I think I'm finally passing out. Can't hear anything anymore. Next time I wake up, I'll have forgotten all about her. At least I'll remember Golan, but... Meg. First time we met, that was when... Goodness, is this is this the real ending? Oh goodness. They really have to show the memory burning away like this. Dang, that was some that was a very, like, emotional scene. Dang. I also loved what Roy said about Golan, how He'll still have his own personal growth without, you know, needing Roy's memories for it. We haven't, uh, I guess, found Meg's mom yet. Is is there gonna be like a scene after this where Meg finds her mom, and maybe there will be a day that uh, Golan and Sebastian are gonna introduce uh, Meg and Roy together again? Cause that would be pretty darn sweet if that was the case.
That was an awesome scene. <laughs> who play with me. Oh, you did, did you? Listen, Meg. All those strange places you went and the strange people you met? That was all just... Just a dream. Yes, you were just having a very strange dream. Huh? Nuh-uh. It wasn't a dream. They play with me a whole lot. I'm not making it up. Yes, honey, I know. But one day, when you're older, I think you'll understand. Well, when I'm a grown-up? Yes, sweetheart, exactly. But I, I promised... Not to forget. Sweetie? I can't ever forget... About Roy and Golan and everyone else. Even when I'm a grown-up, I'll... I'll never... <laughs> I'll never forget you guys! Never! Ever! <laughs> Meg! Okay, you win. If they really meant that much to you, then I won't tell you to forget about them, sweetheart. Ah, oh, Elder Sebastian, you've returned at last. Uh, yes, sorry. I uh, haven't worked that hard in a long while. I need a nap. Well, rest up, uh, because things are probably going to get too much hectic from here on out. I'd wager you're right. We just destroyed an entire human laboratory, after all. Uh, though I suppose it's up to us to make the best use of this, uh, new opportunity. Yes, the future is finally ours to decide, it would seem. Hey, so, uh, what even happened to those guys anyway? I'm dying to know over here. Didn't Meg go back to live with her mom? <laughs> she did. And what of Roy? <laughs> Bleh, this tastes like crap. Weird, man. I don't remember Magic Tar tasting this bad. And for that matter. Since when did I have all this junk lying around my house? Oh, Roy! Oh, he's gonna get all the memories back. Let's take a look at this first. Hmm? Yeah, you know, now I'm looking. Now I'm seeing it up close. This just looks like a bucket of black sludge from the bottom of a nasty swamp. I remember it looking a lot tastier than this. When the heck did I get this table? Let's get this one. Hmm, I don't know. This one's uh, kind of lame, don't you think? Would you two shut up and pick one already? I didn't even want a dang table in the first place. 
Uh, didn't we just see a way nicer one over there? No, it's gotta be this one. Because it's big and sturdy, just like Roy. Anything smaller, and he'll probably break it. Rick's got a good point. Weird, uh, don't recall. Hey, this looks useful. Let's take it home with us, Roy. Oh yeah, this is a pretty nice cupboard. What the heck? Uh, what the heck would I ever give a dang cupboard for? Don't need extra storage if all I own is magic tar. Alright, how about I give you some of my famous tea to put inside it, eh? You know what tea is, Roy? It's a weird type of grass you dunk in water until... I told you, I don't need anything else. Actually, this might be too big for us to carry home. Yeah, I'm probably throw my back trying to carry that thing. Ugh, you guys are wimps. Watch and learn. Wow, Roy! You're so cool! You picked the whole thing up with one hand! Huh, <laughs> easy peasy. Nice going, Roy. Now just carry it all way back to your place, cause the two of us certainly can't. Huh, <laughs> dang it. Fine, you win. Uh, flower? Since when do I keep flowers in the house? Hmm, I'm too lazy to throw it out though. The heck? Who threw all this graffiti on my wall? Is that supposed to be me on the left? Then that must be Golan on the right. But who's the little one in the middle? Well, it ain't the best art I've ever seen, but it's not a. It's got a certain appeal, I guess. Uh, hey, bro. Oh, hey, Golan, what's up? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, same as always. What about you, man? Uh, how's your arm doing? Still can't believe you fell down so hard it snapped right off. Who does that? Uh, yeah, definitely wasn't my finest moment. But enough about that. What do you say you and I go find something to eat? You mean like, uh, more magic tar? Nah, yeah, man. Uh, actually, I was thinking it'd be nice to try something new for a change. Wait, seriously? You know, uh, just to see if I like it. Yeah, it's worth a try, right? In that case, let's see you and me go catch us some tasty fish. Uh, fish? Well, what's that? A yummy little treat, that's what, but you'll have to learn how to fish. And lucky for you, I happen to be a superb fishing instructor. Oh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Hey, wait up, man. Here you go, Meg. Happy birthday! Mommy? Oh wow, a soccer ball? Just for you, sweetie. I know how much you wanted one. Thanks, I love it. Oh, what's this? Another present? Who could it be from? Dear, a rocket ship? But it's all beat up and broken. Looks like someone tried to patch it back together. And there's no return address either. Maybe we should just get rid of it, sweetheart. Nuh uh, no way. I'm gonna keep it. I'll treasure it for the rest of my life. Just like the soccer ball you gave me. Oh, really? <laughs> if you say so, dear. It's much too dark outside. I'll be fine. I just want to go look at the stars for a sec. Well, alright. As long as you don't leave our front yard. I won't.
Dang it, man. Fishing my booty. I didn't even get a single bite the entire time. At least Golan seemed to be having a good time, but still. Oh, hey. The stars are looking real pretty tonight. Huh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that... Was those twinkly things up there called? The uh, stars? I think that's the first time I ever used the word pretty, too. Twinkly and pretty, huh? Guess I could get used to that. Aw, that's what Meg said. I didn't get to meet up after all. But this ending was way better than the first ending that we got because that first ending was just so sad and bad. <laughs> so I'm really glad that at least this time, Roy, uh, sorry, this time around, Roy and Golan, they all survived. Um, and Meg still met up with her mom and she still has all the memories left of, of Roy and Golan and the underworld. Um, and it seems that, you know, Paul's okay too, and they're living well down in the underworld together, and I guess the monsters have to deal with the humans now, but in our case, we're all happy that Roy had a good ending, and Meg had a good ending. This is a realistic, I think, this is realistic, but I don't know, maybe in the future uh, they will get to um, meet each other again, I don't know, but that would be pretty darn cool. And now Roy doesn't have to eat trash anymore. <laughs> he can finally eat uh, some real food with Golan. And now he has a, a, a buddy who cares about him and everything like that. So, wow, this was a really good game. Yes, thank you, Odin Cat. You guys are awesome. This was such a cool game. get to see Meg when she's all grown up and now she I guess she still remembers Roy that's awesome dang I'm gonna I'm gonna miss these characters it was so fun voicing all of them like Roy was so like cute and naive and so like tough at the same time and Golan was one of those like you know smarty like friends that still watch out for you you know and, and Meg's just adorable on the on the other hand and all the council members are all funny this was a really good game uh, i love the characters i loved this ending and yeah i guess I'll, i'm gonna miss this but I, I i guess i'll look forward to the next game produced by odin cat thank you everyone so much for for going on this adventure with me i, I hope you all enjoyed uh, the series i certainly did and i guess i will see you all hopefully in the next adventure until then everyone Bye.